Cradle! Wow. Uniguine engine game. One of the few. One of the first. One of the few. The early ones. No longer supported. Seems a pain in the ass to capture. Full screen mode removes it from the window list, but no longer appears to OBS. Uh, full screen mode only opens on one monitor. You can't move the window. You can't alt tab. So I wrote my script for window manager control to in windowed mode because it appears in windowed mode. Capture the window, remove the decoration, move it to the right on the right monitor, full screen it, position it, and loop forever. If the, uh, the window moves and it puts it back. I have several scripts that do that for different games, but this one was fun. And just now, of course, because Chatty's open and it captured the word cradle out of chatty and move chatty window over there instead I had to fix that and exclude chatty anything that includes chatty on the window manager list linux awesome but uh that's mostly the fault of the game more than my uh, desktop environment or window manager or anything like that it's the game game's fault entirely but you got that for a long intro Uh, from what I understand, they are they are okay. They haven't really done anything in a long time. Some sort of Facebook group thing going, but this is the only game that they've made, I can tell. They are from Ukraine. That's not why I'm playing the game. It's been in my game library for a very long time. Tutorial. The game is locked to 30, you can run up to 60 or whatever frames you want, but uh, it's kind of sluggish for some reason when you get into the main area. And that's it. That's your tutorial. That's all you need to know. You need to know anything else about the game. All you need to play. There's the logo. I wish there was a zoom feature or something to zoom in.
not sure why, but that audio pop is not in the video. The game engine. I've checked the video. There is a click in the video, but it's not audible when I play it. Maybe it's intentional? I don't know. This is kind of the, your first interaction here in the game. Good place for a benchmark, taking qualitative screenshots for comparison, even though you got this head bob going on. Very uh, purposefully positioned cursor. Basically an adventure game, 3D adventure game, sort, look at thing, read thing, understand thing. Some tobacco. The Buddha.
Let's make goulash. The IBRP. Get your new in body ready. Yes, you could even look at the trash on the floor.
Well, I didn't mean to take a nap. I wonder if that changed anything. Did I miss something? Who knows?
transparent paper. Or Failed me. see myself in the mirror. Twenty fifteen. Do the schools use uh, scantrons anymore? Testing pencil markings a lot faster, I'm sure. 
Do they use them? I don't know. Dirt on my mouse pad. Toilet paper. Thank you. 
containment here. What's happening over there? Time travel. Can't take it all with you. Here, land. Oh, those ugly people. Oh, no. Ugly people everywhere. Is it a virus or is it radiation? Something else?
Give me the pills. Be hard to tell what to click on here. TV guide in the future. Good society persecutes the production of pirated copies of Android decorations. Still making vinyl records. Yes, you can look at everything. Except those boxes. Big thing in the room, boom. There it is. It is a mechanical being. It is broken. Let's remove its boob. Throw them away. Remove its head. Take out its brain. Meet with the boo. And take a nap. In your face. Big zoom. Yeah, that's a mechanical body that somebody is inside.
broken. It's apparently modeled after one of the uh, employees. The face. Is that hidden back there? Hidden under the TV guide. What else? This is a uh, Chobit. You know where the switch is for the Chobit? So, anything on the ceiling? What oh, no. Vishnu, yes, the elephant. I think that is it, right? It's everything in the in the yurt. Little hut called a yurt. I think that means I've looked at everything. Never seen Rick and Morty, not once. Never. Never watched that show. But I do know how to burn shit.
that doesn't work. Stick your head in it. Just this. Newspaper. It's like a Twilight Zone episode. Stuttering part. Watch this. And then we're better. All right. Uh, this is a very large area, by the way. What? what? Very large. I don't think that's how your shirt's supposed to look. Uh, never happened there. Red pot. a red pot? Hmm. And a glass of water. Use it now that you did your quest. Oh, great. Just over there somewhere, huh? I guess I could find find something.
physics it work? I don't have a shadow or a body. You know, that's, that's too much to have feet or arms. You're asking a lot. You have all these environment things. I said two, I can only carry one at a time. Cut them. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. I'm gonna go run and get one more. You only carry one item at a time. Wait, there's an inventory. Do 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 do. That's four. Oh, look at the, uh, the leaves, how they, they do that thing. Oh, man. Static textures in a rotating environment. They don't throw as good as the stick. Last one around. Boom shakalaka. We're gonna one tree. What are you up to, Wild Jack? Yeah, 
Is it gross? No, thank you. Ride route or tour. Mortar and pestle. Hmm. I can't see a mortar and pestle. Order. Dried root. A, a root, a pseudo root to help. Ride root. Anybody used the real mortar and pestle before? I don't think so. Now that is a rebar. Your no bump mapping though. They added bump mapping and it looked uh, considerably better in my head for it. He did! I've used it before mortar and pestle. My witch's brew. Only thing you would use it for, right? Summoning Satan. Looking for a root, something. Dried root. There are some ingredients back there in, in the yurt. I don't know. And this is where most people uninstall the game. Not like rust, where you can see. Oh, is that a green? Must be a green. Pick it up. Oh, is that a barrel? Supposed to hit barrels, right? But I don't mind the uh, the lack of a UI, more immersive anyway. Other than the fact I have no body. No arms, no shadow. But at least I get throw boxes.
probably wouldn't want to know what I really am. Spoilers, I've seen this game several times. So I know. I know. I just don't know where the roots are. Maybe we try uh, all the ingredients I threw on the floor. Boom! Some of that in there too, yeah, that's chlorine. Ooh. Oh, that must be black pepper. Oh, that's lemon pepper. Oh, that's, uh, orange peel. That's passion fruit. Whatever it is, I ruined it. I don't know. No more shit to read. What are you doing, Billy? What are you up to? Are you up to a substance of nothing? Uh-oh. Wipey McDipey. You can weigh your emotions in milligrams. Just buy a Passium 433, ingest it, and you'll have more emotions. That's really how it works. 
take this magic pill and the doctor says you'll feel better very unlikely Did I miss something? It went from put this in the pot to uh, do that and it didn't explain. I mean, I looked at everything. I did not see a mortar and pestle. Cannot interact with shovel. Bad game. More hidden shit. Sounds very windy outside. Sounds like thunder. Could be fun. My battery backup is good for 30 minutes. I think that's what most people do, honestly, when they come in here and play the game. They just take everything out and throw it around. Dried root. Order and pestle. Uh, like these, eh? Quicksand GM server. What's new? What's the update? Anything I should reinstall the game for? Not gonna happen. Oh, good. Aren't people complaining about that? That it changed the, uh, the gun?
Hey you, where's the... Where's the... Where's the, um... Where's the roots at? Got roots in here? No help at all. Order and Castle. And my guess would be um, down there at the water, but I don't know. Hit markers, you already got the hit sound. What more do you need? It also uh, an abandoned game. Totally abandoned. People forgot that it existed. And you don't, you don't actually go faster by jumping. I know there's an edge to the area you can walk in. Maybe they want a cat's eye? Well, that game is that game's old. Too old. Too modern. Too popular. I don't like popular games. Glug, 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 glug. Hey, a rock under the water. Did they put a secret right here? They should have put a secret right here. Nobody will ever find it. Well, I'm trying to play through some of my game library. Games that I bought a long time ago, like 2017, and never played. I spent maybe an hour testing this game. Let's see. I get it captured properly. And I wrote a script so that it worked. Because I am Linux. Also limited the game to 30 FPS, even though it doesn't make too much of a difference. I'm looking for dried root. It's called Uniguine. I'd have heard of it in Benchmark. I used to it used to be a Benchmark developer, and then they made some games and released the game engine. Well, that's good. Something uh, more, more or less relaxing to watch, you know. People are very loud and obnoxious to listen to you. No, it's probably not. You can play it. It's actually a very short game. Uh, you can just wander around aimlessly in that game, just like this. 
you can't look down at your penis to see your health. So, here, here's that kind of problem. The problem with games, what they call the penis meter, chicken meter, as some would call it. Uh, I don't know that one. Not familiar with the Black Tiger game. I've watched a lot of his episodes. I actually downloaded all of them. I don't need internet to watch AVGN, even though I would probably, thankfully, watch most of them to give him a plus view. So he doesn't get ads. They don't give ads. They don't count anyway, so it's kind of fruit fruitless, futile in its own way. Sorry, YouTube, but I do not like ads. Oh no, your color is disgusting, boy, Nick. Flash is very bad with my uh, with the red and the black on my screen. So you can be whatever color you want. Okay. So this is like a secret here. Go that way, huh? My little pony horse, I can go fast. Gotta go fast, Panic. Gotta go fast. Woo, got my little pony horse. Yeah, pony horse. Um, this game? Black Tiger. Look at me riding my horsey sideways. Get them up. Am I up going? Oof. This will help me find those dried roots. Oh, cool. I'm going to stick it in your pocket just like you would a real horse. Stick it in your pocket. So, yeah, uh, why are you gonna alt tab? Look at the walk, there you go. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing. It's just like raisin. As you can guess, that is a secret in the game. Uh, you would normally not find that. Of course, some people are very adventurous and just go wandering off out that way. Like, oh, well, maybe I can get to uh, wherever that goes, but can't. And it's a lot faster than walking, anyway. I need help cooking this bird food. Don't know. Where the shit is it wants me to put in there. I messed up. That's why people uninstall game. No mortar and pestle here. Could just put the juice in, you know? So, yeah, you're gonna look at the TP toilet paper for a minute.
guide walkthrough. Minesweeper Keygen. Uh huh, no. Uh, then that thing. Where did I throw that thing? Great, now you got my mouse trapped on the window. It would have been too hard to find that. What do you call it? Ginger? Mandrake? Uh, I don't know, ginger root? I would think it is. Ginger root? Ride fingers? Yummy. Do you want just one or two? What do you want? Oh, you can't use it now? Some sort of delicious food. I think I broke it with the uh, all the spices that I threw in there. Probably broke it, right? I guess they didn't expect you to do that.
I think this is actual Mongolian script. Each one is different. Or is it just uh, a font? There we go. That is updated. There we go. That I broke it, but I guess it just didn't tell me what to do. Delicious, isn't it, buddy? Oh, yeah. Steaming hot burn the shit out of your mouth and throat and stomach. Yeah, it's awesome. for a Oh man, that doesn't look healthy at all. Whoa. Suddenly you realize Bird is not a real bird. Well, whatever, buddy. Hmm, wonder what those numbers could mean. Ding dong. Because I'm hacking the matrix. The uh, Android twenty seventy one model. The new the new new Pink Floyd album came out recently on this.
Oh, I don't know. I had a Nokia 6010. Like my first actual cell phone. Still got the same SIM card and the same phone number. A sorrowful tree, because trees have emotion. Wanted to try a different number, and apparently you can't escape. Hope that starts a fire over there. Oh, you can knock it over and look on the bottom. So oh, does it tell what my emotion is? Forty years of just light feeds on your emotion. Elite. Yeah, I can knock that over too. Then you got this lady. New steel? Not today, huh? Got a headache. Oh, that's too bad. Put those things in. It's not going to break the game. Ah, yes. I need to. I use that late at night. Hmm, an arrow. I have no need for this. I the music change. Get that retro wave beat going on.
heroes. Please, the dragon. Set of numbers. Just like that, replace the lady's brain. Young Android Woman. Already replaced those. Life Force dying! Life Force dying! Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to it? Gogurt. I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? So convenient to have amnesia all of a sudden. Yes. Are you a mulgar? I don't know. But I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? Looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? You know. I want to know what's going on here. You're not a Mulgar. I don't know what a Mulgar is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. Oh no! What substance? I don't understand. My name is Ida. And I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong uh, with my legs? You don't need those. They're, um, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Robots don't have emotion. Emotional damage! Calm down, Ida. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Everybody's dead. 
Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child. I don't like the way that you said, child. Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Ongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. Elixir. What's that elixir? Ellipses! I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. Eighteen years ago. Listen, Anabish. I feel ill at ease here, and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. What marker? The authenticity marker. It's like my passport, it's got all my personal data. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, but it appears to be broken. What was Grandpa doing with this uh, robot? So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen. Why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what, but we need to hurry. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M-bodies. Hold on. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. There was a virus that spread across the globe. <laughs> they couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program. That's right. Transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. This game came out before the thing happened. Kind of like a personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. Your regular bodies are gone. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus, Passium. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. Damn, I think I missed a option there. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Human beings produced it with their nervous system. Passium. It. Liquid. Emotion. Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, Passium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M-body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. As a result, Passium skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. And every person... 
they became worthless. Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although there were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Proletariat? Who were those people? People that were special somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. Breathe? You need oxygen? I simply need to inhale air. It's been inherited from my former body. A reflex. I can't get rid of it. All M bodies have a special module built in for this very purpose. It imitates breathing. Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. The river, some abandoned complex. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Enabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's... An amusement park. It is very funny park. It looks the part. M body parts were stored there, in the pavilions. It should definitely have a breathing module. Body parts in a children's park? They were once used in a show, but I don't remember exactly how. From the essence, tracking children's emotion. All right, I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. But I already have password. Help me understand something. What's that? Why don't people want to live in embodies? It's the panic attacks. You can't get used to them. Each reboot is accompanied by a panic attack. What is that? Fear? Not fear so much as... You start feeling warm and... Almost swampy. Like swamp ass? Come again? Swampy? I don't know how to describe it. You feel something strange, like a droning, but it's not a sound. More like a sensation. Monotonous. Enabish, I don't want to remember it. That's fine. No need to. Uh, I'm not done talking to you. Did you bring the module? Help me understand something. What's that? How is it that emotions produce a substance? Technically, it's not emotions that produce it, but a synchronizer. And what does it... synchronize? Your consciousness with your DNA. It maintains a link between your nervous system and gene pattern. Thus, whenever you experience an emotion, doesn't matter which one, it generates something like a byproduct. That is the substance in question, passing. Why the need for DNA in a mechanical body? The consciousness cannot survive without the DNA. It perishes. Oh, oh existential crisis. How does it perish? And why? As to why, I do not know. Nobody does. Your neurocopy crumbles and you die in a fit of panic. You shake with terror for several minutes, then slip into a coma. Sounds refreshing. Coma? Death, really. The neurocopy cannot be restored. No copy. Got it. Did you bring the module? Help me understand something. What's that? What's a neurochip? A consciousness carrier. When a body gets replaced, the subject's nervous system is copied to the neurochip. There it lives and develops, just like in the former body, or close enough to it. For one thing, there used to be no need to reboot yourself. Reboot? Sometimes the neurochip needs rebooting to clear the errors that accumulate. I don't really know much about it. Essentially, if too many errors pile up, it starts to disrupt your thinking. 
you start feeling out of it. That's when the neurochip should be switched off and back on. We call that a reboot, and it is a highly, highly unpleasant procedure. What do you mean by disrupted thinking? Well, your speech gets distorted, for instance. You start mumbling as if you're delirious, but it doesn't end there. Your motor functions can be affected. It varies. Got it. Sounds exciting. Twenty fifty eight Advanced Technology Forty Two No question, no question authority. Question, what am I playing? <laughs> Definitely not Brony Pony. No Bronies around here.
actually the uh, the bronies is what killed Zonatic and Nexius for me. I was playing the damn pony model and they're annoying. You could turn them off in a certain way. They're using uh force all the models to be your model, but then what's what's the point, you know? Maybe just block them somehow or place them, I don't know. One of the most annoying things when uh, the Baroni scene happens in those games. They used to be enjoyable games. Yeah. Welcome to the creek. The creep factor. Oh, you know, I could be just playing Fortnite or something. Seems much more uh, popular these days. Play Barbie for the Nintendo. That would work. What do you play anyway? I dropped my penis. Hit the cross. Um, this I don't remember how to do. It's been a number of years since I saw. Let me play this. Well, I would figure I'm a tree, right? Look at that. Almost like they planned for you to climb over. Couldn't possibly be dangerous or anything, right? Uh. 
Uh, we don't play triple normal top 10 games here. Why would I want to be like everybody else anyway? Enemish, I remembered who those people were. The ones whose passion was regarded as more valuable. It was their genes that made them special. Their DNA had fewer errors. In other words, these were people with good heredity. Such people produce a special kind of passion, which contains a valuable component. It was this component that was needed to fight the virus and not the whole substance. That was why they commanded such respect. Humanity's struggle against the virus hinged on them. Back then, everybody used to say that the emotions of beautiful people were our salvation. The beautiful people, the beautiful people. I think the uh, developers were listening to too much Marilyn Manson. Maybe that was their problem. Man, I tell you, looking at the, uh, the cheat, figure out where that horse was, so much better. Speed your game along incredibly fast. Uh... See a lot of a jack knows. Knows what's up. He's here for the thrill of the ride. That's not the kind of game I would play. Barbie, Barbie NES, um, watching paint dry simulator, no. Although you could check my YouTube, you uh, might be interested in a four hour video I did of, I forget the name, but basically you just sit there and stare off into space for four hours waiting for time to pass. Pretty good. Wabba Jack was here, you know. He knows what I was doing. One of those, uh, just sit there and watch Pink Cry game. Apparently, my horse has lost sound effects or have gone deaf. But, I found the entrance. To whatever this is. Whatever this is. Uh, I was using a, a lot more GPU power than it was five seconds ago. Uh, 
put that up on my screen so I see how much. 27, 26. Six thirty one. Uh, freedom of choice. I think the operating system is better than Windows. Everything creeps you out, eh? What about this uh, magnificent art statue piece with the block in it? That creeps you out. Looking at the ceiling of this Abandoned uh, carnival fun house to keep you out. So all the slides coming into the middle kind of creep you out a little bit. The blocks hanging, all this stuff It'll make you feel uncomfortable. The little black things that keep spawning out here. Hey, those guys. Oosh. Now this is riding in style. Obviously didn't need to do that yet. Uh, this whole thing happens late. Scared it off. Welcome to my asylum of ours. Hey, kid, what a balloon. to read the numbers, I don't know, um, 10, 10, we got 1, mm. 
Northern Light. Clearly, we gotta go to seven first. The one that I think you can go to. Yeah, you can jump up here if you wanted. What is this? Uh, two, right? You go out there and jump around and just use your, your magical horse. And cheese it. Okay. Uh, have over 300 free to play games on Steam. I don't, I don't know if I need another one right now. I actually paid for this game. Oof. I broke my legs and then woke up. Hello, mystical shrimp. Baby. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. How are you doing? <laughs> Let me rub you. I hear you like to vape black clouds. I don't know. You might not be familiar with the games that I like to play. Oh. So let's go explore what games I've played before before you make your decision what game I should play. So you can understand what game I am likely to play. Possibly a Itchio game. Indie game, horror game, many, many types of game. I play those, yeah. Uh, a new one just came out today. And of uh, Necromancy. I wonder if Jade is going to play that. If anybody posted it on her Discord, but it just came out. It got sponsored, you know, get paid to play video games. Good for them. But, uh, it can wait. Don't have to play it right now. Bought this in 2017. You see how long it took me to play this, right? Unpopular creep fest. Yeah. Sure. Like uh, a lot of different kinds of games. Eight 
Eight, nine. Oh, up the slide, huh? What's in the middle, though? Look at the middle. Nothing in the middle. Let's go up the slide. I would say Battlefield 1942 could be one of the most popular games that I play. Doom, obviously, Quake. But uh, in general, I would say retro games are pretty popular. A lot of people have played them. No. It's kind of funny that you you drop the horse, knock it out of your hand. That's great. Is in my watching of this game, nobody ever found the horse. Nobody ever found this amazing tool for speeding around the. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Little mushroom. Whatever. Yeah, people are uh, still playing that game too. Amazing. They gave it away for free. And I didn't have to get a free copy because I got the CD. You're at the location. Hold on, I'll try to open the doors. Are you ready to go into the padded cell? Cat. Cat memes. Post your cat gif. Alright, so here's the actual game now. I've been playing this for two and a half hours. We're going to play the real game. So all, all that other bullshit about reading and finding food and flying around on horses, that's not reality, okay? This is reality. The reality of loading the screen. You sure can. Eat all the cats you want.
Anything up here? Okay. to happen. You win! Engine crashing! Uh, it's like art, you know, you're not supposed to really understand it or make sense of it or criticize it. It's just art. It just is. Either you get it, or you don't.
Two more.
Where's my horse? Uh oh. My horse go. Horsey. And my horse go. My amazing horse. Interesting, my horse is. Here, do they just want me to go, uh, go get the horse again? <laughs> Extract essence of emotional damage. That's not cool, they took the horse from me. I don't know whether this would be useful, but... There were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But how they did it, or why, that I do not remember. That's not. Yeah, we gotta break this again, so... I to take your items from you every time you do that. Worth it to go get the horse again. It'll be very exciting. You guys can uh, sit back and relax and watch me go get the horse again. Just because my game crashed? I don't know. I think it's because you went inside the, uh, the pavilion chamber, takes away your horse. Or, you know, you get watch me get stuck inside of a tree. Another possibility, just watch me get stuck in a tree. Gorge, gorge of the jungle, watch out for that tree. There's a number of secrets in here somewhere that uh, required for achievements. You actually have to find random shit scattered across the map. Makes a lot of sense, right? Of course, I don't know if my achievements are working, but they might give them to me after I exit the game, even though they crash. Of course, with old, older games like this, for whatever reason, the achievements don't seem to be working um, as well as they used to. There's another game I played where they reverted to a previous version because their achievements were broken. A couple of games I've noticed that have broken achievements here lately. But I don't really play games for achievements. Shows up on your um, 
completion list. Like, if you completed a game, it's because you got all the achievements. That's how you complete a game. According to Steam, at least. Could also just be that uh, the Linux build of this game, the achievements are broken. Did see somebody say something about that in the discussion forum? That is a possibility. Oh, the sun has changed. On day two, and the uh, clouds are different now. Very amazing cloud. That's going to be the screenshot of the video, is staring at the cloud. So, I thought this one is the next Then they really make you work for it. Run all the way over here for the horse. Every time. Don't get creeped out by playing the horse eating game called Pokemon. Because you could always go to that one town, you know. That one town in Pokemon. Fly like an eagle. What else got reset? Oh, huh? somebody put all of my stuff back where it was. Hmm. Let me find that song. I have that song here, I think. YouTube download
traded eight hours ago. Seven days ago. Eight days ago. Was a break. You enjoyed your break. I have no need of this crop. So, uh, hey, you. Oh, that's my horse. Did you bring the module? Yes. How do I install it? There should be a pipe inside the chest. A trachea. The air passes through it, so you need to connect the module to it somehow. All right. You want me to uh, disembowel you? Finally, I'm breathing. How goes your search? Did you find the password? Not yet. But I did remember a bit about myself. I used to work here at the Gerbera Garden as a teacher, I think. I remember kids being brought here to watch a show. They would then play in the pavilions, carry body parts from there, and pile them up by the stage for some reason. What an odd amusement park to build. You suck the essence of emotion out of those children. Strange indeed that it was built here. There's something I don't understand. You said it was abandoned, but it's still operating. It's got power. Why wasn't it taken down? There was an explosion. It's full of some poison. Oopsies! Do you remember anything about that? Um... I think I know what it was that exploded there. Desperatoxin. Desperation? Desperado? What? Rip. Link? Homo este baño. I don't know what you mean, script writing software. What the hell is that? Rebly, I don't know what you're talking about. I write script in Leafpad. With the pound symbol, exclamation point, forward slash bin, forward slash bag. Green writing, what is that? 
Redly, I don't know. Never heard of this. Well, maybe it must not have been me. And I'm gonna ask. What's that? That's the substance from which the virus came into being. The epidemic began after one such explosion. Uh, I can look in, I can search the Discord after this conversation is over. One? You mean there were other explosions? Several hundred, all across the globe. Who carried out the explosions? Remember I was telling you about the outsiders? The explosions were their handiwork. Uh, Americans? Bomb bomb dropping the bomb bombs. Were they terrorists? What was their goal? No goal to speak of. They weren't even doing it on purpose, really. Simply, sometimes their passium capsules would explode in their chests spontaneously. The emotions generated substance was the cause. Emotional damage. What was wrong with it? It had a dangerous component, bitter passium. It's a kind of dark liquid, which may suddenly turn poisonous and explode. Those people were carrying a bomb in their chests. It wasn't their intention to massacre thousands of people and strip the entire race of the ability to procreate. But that's what happened. Hmm. Seems very plausible. But how are they different from the others? Genetic defects. The more defects in the DNA, the more bitter the passium becomes. Outsiders were at once pitied and feared. Nobody wanted to live next to a time bomb. Many outsiders left their hometowns. They didn't want to cause anyone trouble. That's why we look for perfect flowers. These are... Uh, what the game called... Puppy flowers. But they look more like chrysanthemums. I'm not really sure exactly what a poppy flower looks like. But Mongolia... Probably what a poppy flower actually looks like. Also, there's some text floating through the, um, the image here. That is on all of them. So that's why they were called outsiders. They were called all sorts of things, including lower class and ugly people. I still remember the slogan. Protect society from the emotions of ugly people. Might want to clip that for later. What an unexpected problem for society. But not the only problem. Living in an M body requires fuel, and fuel can only be obtained in exchange for sweet passium. Provided you have it, which the outsiders did not. They were unwitting spongers. Spongers? Oh, like leeches? What is sweet passium? That's the valuable substance produced by beautiful people. I told you about it. In reality, sweet and bitter passium are two parts of the same substance. Everybody produces both components with their emotions only in different proportions. People with purer DNA end up with more of the sweet stuff and less of the bitter, and vice versa for the outsiders. Beautiful people are therefore valuable, whereas ugly people are dangerous. Ugly people are dangerous. This game is teaching me a lot. Danger to society. So where did the outsiders get the means to live? They were issued poor heredity assistance from the public rescue fund. The fund was founded and sustained by a special tax that was levied on all the citizens. First and foremost on the beautiful elite. A lion's share of the reserves went towards supporting ugly people. Thus, they became a constant headache, not only spreading the virus, but also draining the rescue fund. The bourgeoisie. Those ugly, poisonous spongers. It was their emotions that were poisonous. Uglies are dangerous merely by living and feeling, in that they deprive the rest of any hope of returning to the way things were. I remember all the heated debates, the frantic search for a solution. What is that called? Um... Genetic DNA, creation of humans, in Star Trek. And did they find it? 
Yes, I think so. The committee proposed a hibernation program, putting the uglies to sleep. Sleep in quotation mark. Come again? What kind of sleep? Deactivation. A voluntary shutdown. A temporary one until the virus is destroyed. And many of them agreed, realizing it was the best option they had. I don't know whether it helped or... Hold on. What? The password. I think I got the right one. Yes, I'm in. I see the files. Trying to find info on the employees. It should have my data as well. You've got strange eyesight. Why is that? You see virtual files. I wouldn't refuse regular eyesight either. It's all dark, but I can't figure out what's broken. The screen on your face. It's broken. It's called a look screen. And yes, it's damaged. Uh, I might have dropped that a few times on purpose. Might there be a working one at the Gabera Garden? There probably is, but it won't recover my sight. Something is up with my lens, and the garden wouldn't have those. Nor do I know where to find them. I know why you can't see. I suppose I'll look for a lens then. Where? In the field? There's nobody around. Ellipses! What was that? Don't know. I'll go check it out. Nope, not me. Is nothing in our conversation about Rebly or Relby. Relby. What does it mean? Uh, do you need to use that? Hmm. Relby. What was it for? I have no idea. Uh, was it a virtual camera thing? I don't remember. Uh, there you go, it's in your Discord.
Hey, who sent the clowns? Oh yeah, I never saw anybody with the horse thing. Uh, never really spent a lot of time looking at the bus. Berbera, Berber, Berbera, Berber, baby. Uh, relic neuro field. You know, somebody spent a lot of time creating the bus thing, so any time to look at it. Including up here where you're not supposed to be at, but I'll look at it anyway. Tired of looking at me now? You got bored? I was shaking your head because I'm just oh, watching me, huh? One of the cool things about certain video games, they'll follow you around. I don't think I ever saw anybody look around inside the cab. But it just went straight for talking to the guy. That's not fun. They got lots of little details all over this thing. Nice poem. See, people don't look at this stuff. There's a poem right behind this guy. Man, that is some super low quality textures. Hmm, what would happen if I hit this switch over here, buddy? Would you get mad? Interact that, nothing there. Oh, hey, hold up. What you got over there? Hmm. Twenty thirty five. Contract girlfriend. Yeah. Support the ugly ones. Wait, a regular piece of trash over there. But it's got words on it. And this one. Carry 3,092. Oh, that's pretty good. Get some of that. Oh. Welcome to death. You're now experiencing permanent brain rot. Is that everything? on your radio.
Look at that, see there's something hiding down there. Liquidation of the various. We have to actually crouch down to see that. In the bong. Look at that reefer madness. Uh-huh. And that. Thirty-two to eighty-two. Uh, fake jewelry, I see. Who got over there? Who is that girl? Wait, I see that. Ninety-eight percent. Hmm. Maybe I have a hundred. I am chosen one. Oh, I can read this. The weather forecast. Substantially above the norm. Leave immediately. And you do not. You can't really look at this guy, you just talk to him. I have to be prepared when he leaves, I want to jump on this and go with him. Well, where'd you disappear to? Listen, I found out how much they're paying. It's good, good money. money. Very good, actually. I'm, I'm going, going tomorrow. tomorrow. The procedure is simple. No pain and almost no damage. Sure, your brain is a little worse for wear whether a patient recovers, but a job's a job, right? I might even quit the whole flower collecting business. But all that's still just castles in the sky. In the meantime, we've got phytocopies to sell. I got an order for you, so listen up. Two red, 70 at the least, one orange, um... If you listen closely, the uh, voice modifier sounds... Um... A little bit like the lady back at the yurt. They just they drop the voice, a little bit more of that robot, an undertone in there. A little bit. Same voice actress, I would say. Sorry, I don't know what that means. Who are you? Enabish, I ain't got time to spare, so why are you wasting it? Tabaha is gonna get fired. I don't want to go back to getting shut down for 20 days in a month span. I lost my memory, Tabaha. What are phytocopies? If this is a joke, it's a real dumb one. Tell me what phytocopies are, and why we sell them. Cop the crap. What do you mean, why sell them? Because people buy them. HQ goods are valuable. Somebody beautiful can license a copy of their DNA and sell it which can then be used to make all sorts of stuff. Androids, flower vases, like the one on your table. As for you and I, we digitize flowers, make them into phytocopies and sell them. Understand? People like seeing a high number on the display. Beautiful things are always valued. Why don't you collect the flowers yourself? Are you mocking me? I've had enough of that. My head still ain't right after the last time. You're the weirdo around here. Strolling right alongside the enclosure without any harm. I'm just an old miserable outsider. Pretty damn useless, too. Then again, I'll be healing beautiful folks soon. Guess there's some use left in me yet. Not ugly people. Heal them from what? I told you. Their emotions are all gone. They walk around like zombies, blinking vacantly. Treatment is in full swing. Donors are needed. Donate some of my DNA if you need. <laughs> Donors of what? What else? Immunity. Turns out the elite are more susceptible to panic. Some kind of burnout in their heads. So that's what happened. Emotional burnout in all the beautiful folk. Now they need their immunity to panic restored. But that immunity needs to come from somewhere, right? And who is it that endures panic best? Who are you gonna turn to? I don't know. 
The uglies? Bingo! But see, nearly all the uglies have been put to sleep, so now they're being woken up. Are you an ugly? Fine, Tabaha. So, you want me to pick some flowers? No, damn it, not pick some flowers. If you go and pick the first flowers you see, feel free to stuff them right up your nostrils. Who's gonna buy those? What I need is the prettiest flowers you can find. You put ass. Stuff them right up your ass. I'm not really an expert on aesthetics. Amazingly, today you're even weirder than usual. Look, you take the genometer, go up to the flowers and measure their beauty. I need two red gaberas with a 70 HQ or higher, no lower. One orange, 80 or higher, and one yellow, 90 or higher. Make sure to measure only fully open flowers, else the phytocopier will jam up and cleaning it is a pain. Aim at the center of the flower, lest it close up before you're done measuring. Once picked, digitize it with the phytocopier, then pack everything. Pack into what? Same as always, into a box of covers. All right, that sounds doable. I'll be back in three hours. What do you want for the job? Want me to bring back food? I need a lens for a female embody. A lens won't help that vase of yours. It was already barely functioning when your late grandfather bought it up in buying Hong Kong. Ain't nothing you can do. It's a cheap, pirated copy. Let it go. It's been gathering dust for years, so let it. Bring me the lens, Tabaha. Fine, I'll bring it. But I want you to know that you're slowly losing your marbles out here. You should move to the city. I'll be sure to do that. Just one more question. Shoot. AT2. What is that number on your chest? What does it mean? Ha! <laughs> Good one. Seriously, I didn't see it coming. All right, I'm off. Tons to do and the weather is getting nasty. All right, you ready? We're going to jump on this thing. Get yourself a hat. Ellipses! A warm one, made of fur. Know what I'm talking about? About the lens. I already know. I heard your conversation. A lens in exchange for flowers. He's an odd old man. Fussy in matters of beauty. Don't forget to take the device he mentioned with you. Genometer? I don't even know what that is. If I understood correctly, that's the heredity gauge. You can use it to find flowers with the purest DNA. Very well. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. They roasted. They toasted hot yet? Want them back? Mm. You carry out.
This thing. Where is the wizard? Not fully open. I guess the fully open ones are over there, right? Yellow 80, right? And orange 80. The uh, yellow 90. What a piece of shit. Yeah, well... The orange? Yes, this is the actual game where you have to look at flower. At least they make sound when they come sneaking up on you.
one point one measly point. be here, I don't know. Have to look for the flat one. I also need to be here in the middle. Wait. Last one. I would say it's been, what, four, five years since I saw somebody play this game?
You know, I was thinking... I was thinking about picking flowers. I can ask Tabaha to help you with the evacuation. No, Anabish. That's a bad idea. Until I've checked the number of my neurocopy, nobody must know about me. Uh-oh. Why is that number so important? Because I'm not sure of my authenticity. We don't know where my neurochip was before making its way to you. If I'm a duplicate, then I'll simply be arrested at the first registration. No clone. Okay, the, uh, the word from earlier was... Ready? Huey's Playhouse? Uh, eugenics. Ah, ah, the magic word of the day. Well, all right. It's your call. There's those dots again. So, let's check your number. Nothing on that front either. I found a list of the amusement park's employees, but for some reason, my name isn't on it. But I'm sure I used to work here. I need more particulars about the park, anything at all. My memories are fragmented and don't tell me anything. But you remembered something, yes? Tell me. Well, I remember that all kids would undergo a transfer after the show. I don't know why. Undergo a what? A mirror transfer. That's what the procedure of transferring consciousness into a mechanical body is called. Meaning, the kids would leave the Grimera Garden in M bodies. Strange, isn't it? Doing a transfer at an amusement park. Well, it's uh, very tricky, you know. Kids over there and suck their emotions out, and then kill them. Strange is the word. And another thing, their age. These kids were really young, around five, six at the most. They have lots of emotions. What's odd about their age? They were way too young for a transfer. Little kids don't get their bodies replaced, but they did here for whatever reason. And I played some kind of role in it. Only I don't remember what it was. Maybe you'll remember more once your side is back. Maybe. If Tabaha makes good on his promise. And if there's a functioning look screen in the park. Tell me more about this device. The look screen. Do you mean its purpose? Yes. How does this screen provide sight? A look screen doesn't provide sight. Rather, it displays an image of eyes. I think it's used in a transfer somehow, but I don't recall exactly how. I'll try to remember while you're out. I'm on my way. Which pavilion should I look in? The second. And don't forget... 
Don't forget what? The box with the phytocopies. Help me understand something. What? Why is it illegal to transfer children? I'm not sure. I think that it has to do with their nervous system, its development. Doing a transfer before it's fully formed is dangerous. But you did it. Got it. Did you bring what I asked? Help me understand something. What? You said these were five-year-old kids, right? I don't remember their exact age, but they looked no older than five, maybe six. And their new bodies, were they similarly small? No. Nobody even manufactured children's M bodies. There were only two standard models, adult and teenager. Children were transferred into teenage bodies. When leaving the Gerbera garden, they looked around 15. Not the coziest garden imaginable. Did you bring what I asked? Help me understand something. What? Whose eyes are on your look screen? Mine. The same eyes I was born with. The same shape and proportions. Everything is stored in the Geno chip. My entire DNA. Got it. Oh, uh, maybe. Find out. Copy my butthole right there. That's the next one there. Did you bring what I asked? Not yet. Bill, calm down. Bushy with your eyesight crap. Oh. I don't have my horse.
second for for <laughs> you wanted to know about the look screen. When you undergo a transfer, you put your palm over the palm of your future body and look into its eyes. It's like looking into a mirror. But this part is crucial. The transfer can't happen without it. Then you're immersed into a kind of peculiar state when you see yourself from the side. On a signal, you push off with your palm and a mirror appears between you. And then you're alone again, in your new body. Uh -huh. I see you. Opening. Ooh, that's rough. back into the real world the amusement part of my emotional happy place um 20 30 hmm Yeah, difficult. There's some achievements for this too. What a what a nightmare. One um, is don't fall in the bottom part. Uh, one is do number of blocks. Do something. I don't know. 
too much for me. Sure, how the colored block things work.
I believe the uh, blocks do respawn. Time that uh, refreshes it, puts another block somewhere. Somewhere on the map. Two more somewhere. This is the last one. This is the winner. Who win? Pin it pin, you got me my ball. I just see them here. And of course, we gotta use the five. Yeah, it's looking kind of uh, over gas. Hmm? The rain, huh? Yeah, to do it. I told you about the mirror between you and your former body. So the mirror is turned on at the exact moment when your former body loses its original's right. It is concealed to keep you from seeing your face as it's put to death. The reason is that sometimes there are involuntary mimicking contractions that resemble a smile. Obviously, that is something best left unseen. Mm -hmm. Do you see the like, height difference here? The old 15 year old person. Word. 
Oh, I'm sure it works. Got my box. Oh, you came from over there last time. Now you're going that way. Cool cloud. got a death wish why would you go there where oh nowhere did you bring the flowers here you go pat a boy here is your lens my word is my bond i'm not even going to ask what you want with it i don't know what's going on in your head today and i don't want to know tabaha what do you know about this amusement park Stay away from it, if you know what's good for you. Why do you think it's been fenced off? Because you shouldn't go in there. You'll be better off. You must remember something. Tell me. Think, man. I wasn't even around back then. There was an amusement park. And I guess someone must have exploded in there. Am I supposed to remember every explosion that ever happened? All I know is this damn poison-filled behemoth has been standing there for 20 years now. And nobody ever gave a crap. But suddenly you do. Why? Because of death. I'm curious. It's just so... strange. Sure it is. But why do you care? What are you after? People are dying! I want to know why kids were undergoing transfers. If they were, then there was a reason for it. Why does that even surprise you? It's just your regular mere transfer. Just an everyday... puppy farm. But to Baja, they don't do transfers to kids. To ordinary kids, they don't. These kids, 
They might not have been all that ordinary. I saw them once at an airport, with their teachers. I remember those kids standing there all pale and silent. It was forbidden to talk to them. So there. Hmm, which one's been an advanced story? Is it voice? To Baja. I've got a request for you. Uh, let me guess. You want me to dig up everything there is to know about the Gabera Garden, am I right? Only what happened on the day of the explosion. Jeez, Anabish. Won't you just forget about this damn garden? Fine, I'll look into it. He rolled his eyes at me. Thanks, Tabaha. All right, I've got a roll. Last thing I need is to rack up airs and lose my wits. You know how vulnerable I am to that stuff. I may look calm and collected, but I've got crazy energy and passion for life. Tell him the truth. He's ugly. You look just plain odd. Those glasses and nose. These glasses are one of a kind. You couldn't get them in your wildest dreams. But I got them at half price. That's because I'm a high roller, while you'll be chasing such luxuries all your life. Eh, I've got a pair in my drawer back home. Please, don't forget about my request. My bird has returned. I can't catch him out of the air. Later, butthead. Did you bring what I asked? I did. The look screen as well? The look screen and the lens. Let's connect them. Disconnect the broken look screen. The input is inside right behind it. Install the lens first and then my eyes. And then your eyes. Ooh, it's kind of broken. Oh. 
There you go. Well, how's your vision? Is it working? Yes, I just... You are ugly. What? Mm, nothing. It's fine. My eyesight is back, thank you. What happened? Did you remember something? Yes, actually, I did. Remember to use ellipsis. I know now why I wasn't on that list. Why weren't you? I wasn't on staff. I would come to the Gerbera Garden with the kids and go back with the same group. Meaning, I wasn't a full-time employee. I merely accompanied the children. Tabaha said those kids were accompanied by teachers. Those weren't teachers. It was psychologists that accompanied them. I'm a children's psychologist. Why the need for a psychologist at an amusement park? Enabish, this is not an amusement park at all. Those kids didn't come here for entertainment. They were gravely ill and were brought here for treatment. The Gerbera Garden was a clinic. Was it a garden, a clinic, or a place of... Uh... What were they treated for? Some kind of psychological disorder. Quite severe often fatal, but it's hard to say exactly what it was. I can't recall. You mean the transfer was their therapy? One part of it, yes. There was a whole set of measures. Body replacement was the final phase of the therapy. We also searched for parts and staged plays. They too were part of the treatment. 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 Plays? What kind of plays? I... I remember this one episode. There was a vessel in front of the stage, kind of like a bathtub. It's still there. I saw it. Well, the kids would put M-body parts in it. Each one would bring their own part from the pavilion and put it into the bathtub. And as it filled up, the MC would combine all the parts into a single body. MC Hammer. And what happened then? And then, there was a cloud of steam. The body would be quickly, imperceptibly replaced with a young woman's, and she would pick up the lead. She would fight some giant head. And then something else would happen. I can't remember all the details. Some giant head? And the cubes? Were they also part of the treatment? The cubes, the flower beds, even the height of the pavilions. All were deliberate, mandatory elements of the same therapy. The Gerbera Garden was constructed specifically for those children. It was the only means of treating their illness, peculiar though it may have been. The illness must have been peculiar to match. It's still hard for me to imagine what it might have been, but those kids, they evoked more than just compassion. There was something else, some other complicated, ambiguous feeling. Ambiguity. Tabaha is right. Those kids were unusual. Yes, and the amusement park was as well. Which means all arrivals had to be registered, myself included. I'll try to look for some kind of visitor's logbook. Or what? Uh, 
Ellipses! What is it? My battery. It's nearly discharged. Bad news. I need you to make sense of all this. In that case, Anubis, you'll need to play with those cubes some more. Sure thing, Ida. I'll play. Which pavilion? A moment. Hands. Wrists. There, the fuel cell. Tenth pavilion. Help me understand something. What? But first... You mentioned original's right. What is that? That's a right to bear identity. When a new M body is activated during a transfer, it is also bestowed original's right, thus acquiring an identity. At that very moment, the former body loses this right and is destroyed. Destroyed? Why? I'm not sure. Perhaps to ensure the two never communicate. Why? What would happen if they communicate? I can't be sure. That's a rare occurrence. I believe the consequences are rather strange. They... I don't know how to explain it. Self-implosion. Got it. Did you bring the battery? Help me understand something. What? Yeah, just keeping the dialogue. You mentioned original's right. What is that? Destroyed? Why? Um... Why? What would happen if they communicate? I can't be sure. Got it. Are you gonna blow up? Nice flower pot. Alright, so burn. Yeah, that's some good wood I put in. Ash is on the bottom. I'm gonna stand right here and listen to the tenth pavilion. Uh, it's about halfway through the gameplay. There's a lot going on. We'll continue next time. Where are we? Advantage. Our next mission. Advantage. Uh, you can tell the difference because you got it clear, completed, and then obscured and blurred out as ones that are not completed. It's about halfway. These be a little hard. A little hard. Spoilers, i played the game before. Oh, I know what happened. Hope you there.